Now at 5 on KMTV, nearly one year after someone killed Lamont Secret Jr. at a busy convenience store, his family is still waiting for answers. The prime suspect, Michael Goins, was arrested, then released, only to be arrested again for a separate murder. Today, Secret's family spoke exclusively with KMTV senior reporter Jake Wazikowski. Jake? Yeah, guys, as you can see, 72nd in military, a very busy intersection. Thousands of cars pass here every day, yet there are no witnesses that have come forward to identify the shooter in the killing of Lamont Secret. Now, Secret's family tells me today that they're still unsure if Michael Goins was the shooter, but they say whoever's responsible needs to be held accountable. Memorial Day in broad daylight 2015. Lamont Secret Jr. is gunned down while putting air in his tires at the QT gas station at 72nd and Military. Police say it was in retaliation to a rash of shootings that happened that week. He was my son and I love him and I miss him. Secret's mother and sister say almost one year later, they're back at square one. Their loved one is gone and no one's being held accountable. He's been ripped from my life forever. He's got kids. They're not going to get to know their, their dad. And it's not right. Michael Goins was arrested in 2015 for Secret's murder, but was released in March 2016 because witnesses no longer identified him as the shooter. Two months later, he's back behind bars for the murder of Barbara Williams outside her apartment at 48th and Boyd. Uh, if this young man killed this lady, uh, I just want them to make it stick. And if he didn't kill my son, they need to get out there and find who did it? Who killed my son? And I just want some justice. I deserve justice for my baby boy. Both police and prosecutors say this is an active investigation to get more evidence for a successful prosecution. Riley and Secrets say witnesses need to come forward to give them closure, including a female friend who was with Lamond when he was shot. I'm not mad at you. And I know you went through a lot, but please go in there and tell what went down. If you didn't have anything to do with it and it wasn't a setup like everybody think, just go ahead and talk. Make it better. Make it better for my mama, please. That's all I'm asking. And if you have in for any information on this homicide and will hope to bring some peace to the secret family, as they told me today, you can call the Omaha Police Department at 444-7867. You can remain anonymous and may be eligible for up to a $25,000 cash reward. Reporting live from 72nd and Military, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.